Hello everyone and welcome back to the S&P Saga. This week, we're covering four stocks to investigate ahead of their earnings. Let's dive right into it for the week ended on March 15, 2024. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,117.09 cents, pretty much flat from last week. This is the fourth down week of the year 2024. The P ratio, based on current price and the latest earnings, stands at 27.77, down 0.04 points since last week. Let's start with the gainers. Microsoft is up 75.8 billion or 2.5% after announcing the launch of Copilot Pro. Alphabet is up 73.1 billion or 4.3% as investors notice that it is the most undervalued member of the Magnificent Seven. Oracle is up 36.2 billion or 11.7% after it reported Q3 2023 earnings that beat analyst expectations. We told you to look out for this one last week. Apple is up 29.2 billion or 1.1% on no particular news. I still find it interesting that they purchased Canadian Indian company Darwin AI to bolster their AI effort after killing their electric car project. United Health is up 13.2 billion or 3% following the announcement that its services at its charge healthcare subsidiary were restored following a cyber attack. Moving on to the losers, Meta is down 55.7 billion or 4.3% after being targeted by President Trump over the week. Tesla is down 37.5 billion or 6.7% after getting a very notable downgrade from Wells Fargo. Broadcom is down 33.9 billion or 5.6% following an admission that there were integration issues following its VMware acquisition. Adobe is down 26.8 billion or 10.7% after it reported weaker than expected revenue guidance for next quarter. AMD is down 26.4 billion or 7.9% as its bid to get a similar license to Intel to be able to sell chips to Huawei was not successful. This week, there were no changes to the index but remember that Supermicro and Decker will be joining the index at market open on Monday. So how to use the information we just covered? So for this week, Adobe could present a very good entry price if the company is still profitable, even though it announced disappointing quarterly results. Eight companies will release earnings during the week ending March 22nd, 2024. The most interesting will be Accenture on March 21st at 8 a.m. Eastern Time, expected to report $2.66 EPS on $15.83 billion of revenue for their Q2 2024 results. Nike on March 21st at 4 p.m. Eastern Time expected to report 76 cents EPS on 12.29 billion of revenue for the Q3 2024 results. Lululemon also on March 21st at 4:30 p.m. Eastern Time expected to report $5.02 of EPS on 3.2 billion of revenue for the Q4 2023 results. Finally, FedEx on the same day on March 21st at 5:30 p.m. Eastern Time expected to report $3. $51 EPS on $22.09 billion of revenue for the Q3 2024 results. To find out why Tesla's stock dropped so much recently, you should watch this video next.